Ricardo. Yeah. What's up? This is probably the absolute worst bit to start with. No one knows what the fuck just happened, Marvin. I was wiggling my fingers. Because that's... In a very specific, dumb-looking way. But not because Marvin himself is dumb. Oh, I mean, we can't deny that part either, but it's just... <laughs> Although I would have chosen another bit to, uh, to begin with, to be quite honest. <laughs> uh, that's the part of the episode I remember the most from back in the day. The Wiggling the, your fingers the, around, the finger. but they have to be capped with a bunch of stupid, like, <laughs> like bullet <laughs> thimbles. Yeah, it's like if you wires like, connected to them. Yeah, yeah uh, I don't know. This, this, this game should have been called Finger Banging. <laughs> mm, mm. Right, yeah, am I right? That has, a, that has a ring to it. He's fingering harder than he's ever fingered before. <laughs> <laughs> like he's using all of them <laughs> and his thumbs. Yeah, dude. <laughs> oh, man. He's just all in there with all 10 I used to fingers. get so mad at people who'd be like, no, it's four fingers and a thumb. No, you bitch. don't have five fingers. Like, no, fuck off. <laughs> thumb is a subset of fingers, you fucker. Is the big toe not a toe? Checkmate. Yeah, dude. <laughs> uh, eat shit <laughs> and die eat shit toe deniers <laughs> <laughs> yeah Ricardo's an expert with feet I and hate the toe. <laughs> feet. oh hey everybody oh, guys welcome. welcome if you guys are new listeners fuck you I'm kidding <laughs> I'm kidding welcome guys um, welcome to newbie star trek and f- I mean, welcome. Yeah. <laughs> look, look. Sometimes we're angry, but sometimes we're happy. But yeah. today, this is a silly episode, and I want to yeah. say it. I like this episode. I mean, I like it too. There's a lot to like about it. I think because it's it's like a procedurally fun episode with a really dumb B plot. <laughs> yeah, I like think extra- I liked it more before <laughs> I saw it again. I still <laughs> like it, but um, no, I still like the the B plot is still really funny to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny i guess but yeah hey, like, 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 we can we can get it yeah it's, it's basically oh we're doing a war game also by the way you, uh the guy observing the war game is like a chess champion would everyone like to play chess with him yeah and then, and like, like, never him? never like <laughs> he will take a break from any time it's like, like it doesn't a, matter it, when and when in the exercise yeah. it is. It's like it's it's strategy with yeah, time. Yeah, Let's go. Yeah. It's, it's, it's like a Queen's Gambit was a side plot to this episode. I wish I wish this was it was Jenga they were playing, not fucking <laughs> finger That'd banging. Be fun and sick, actually. Yeah. If like it would be, it would Riker be. is like yeah. Riker and Data are like intensely into Jenga. Yeah. <laughs> and then and then like the guy at the end, he's like, oh fuck it, and he just throws yeah, a block on the floor. Oh, like is gambling still frowned upon? in future future you know well no like, is it considered a vice i hope well, they, not. i hope they not. play cards it's gambling yeah it's, it's like i don't know yeah i think but people I think are clearly betting on on the strategy in the game is what i mean if yo yeah for sure if yeah, if well. it's illegal i don't want to live in that future <laughs> also Worf has a history of gambling like remember when um he's a gen- gen- yeah you know that movie leaving las vegas it's about <laughs> Worf. <laughs> it's called leaving 10 forward or whatever it's called <laughs> Well, yeah, there was, that, was good. The, the episode where Tasha Yar died. Uh, Worf was like, I've placed a large bet on your outcome in the fight before she she left. In I order thought to- you were doing a bit where he you were implying that Worf was uh, <laughs> like betting on her death, like her actual fucking death. <laughs> no, no the, the, the thing before where she was going to be in a tournament or something. That we never I choose see. to believe my version of the story. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where, where he, he was like betting like he's like in this mission. <laughs> Tasha is definitely gonna die. <laughs> uh, you reject my reality and substitute your own. Yes, it's better that way. <laughs> well, I think the venom will win. <laughs> uh, so we're newbie Star Trek. Can you guess why we're called newbie Star Trek? No. Okay, it's because Ricardo. How is- stupid are you? <laughs> Hi, Ricardo. Can't even fucking guess. How are you doing, Ricardo? Ricardo I'm doing all right, dude. I'm yeah, eating you... an apple. If you hear a crunch in the background, I'm sorry. Because <laughs> Ricardo has never watched Star Trek before, so we're making him watch it with us. Yeah, if and you're crunching I... in the background, it, it's because Ricardo is a, is a big fan of Apple. <laughs> yeah. That's also I, actually, true. I'm, that's also true. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm, they call me Tim Apple. <laughs> <laughs> 
Rick, Ricky Manzano. That's what they. <laughs> yeah, Ricky <yeah>. Manzano. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they call him. Oh no! That's uh, my GTA gangster name. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky Manzano. <laughs> Yeah, so that's that's Ricky Manzano over there, and we got we got old Daniel here over there. Hi, Dan. And uh, see, si, soy Daniel, <laughs> and it's me. I'm Marvin, and uh, we're we're watching Star Trek TNG. We watched peak performance today. If you couldn't tell from our our finger banging conversation, did I hear <laughs> you just say like, peak performance? Uh, p- did I say P for? I meant peak peak. Eh, it could be both. Ape. <laughs> peak 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 performance. Uh, which is the penultimate episode of season two and could have been a fine season finale. It'd be fun to end with the war game. That might be kind yeah. of interesting. Like a thing that's preparing them for the upcoming board, right? Exactly. So that'd be like, oh, this all right. One, this one should, this episode should have been called cheating is okay. <laughs> oh that's, yeah. That's the premise. Oh, of, that's yeah. entire, oh, that's boy, Riker's entire strategy. <laughs> yeah, I know. But the thing is, Star Trek has a history of condoning cheating. Like in yeah. Wrath of Khan, <laughs> yeah, like, true. <laughs> like, 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 like the 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 ultimate solution to the the Kobayashi Maru test is for Kirk to reprogram the test. Yeah, that's Why fucking not? bullshit. Yeah, uh, there, Star, there Star there Trek is no is no win scenario. <laughs> you have to fucking win. Yeah. Uh, Here's the thing: is that I think that if the Prime Directives are a little sketchy yeah, that's then cheating is okay yeah mm. yeah if, and i guess yeah, that, in real fair. life there is no cheating if in war you would just either gather all the intel you could and win or or not so yeah. i guess so yeah. yeah all is fair in war games and stratagema yeah, <laughs> yeah. and jenga <laughs> no man jenga's now, fucking serious I do, business. now i do want like one episode to begin with instead of them playing playing cards they're playing jenga That'd be really sick, actually. I thought you were going to say strategy, and I was like, how do you make like a, a poker table of strategy? <laughs> there's, there's six of them surrounding a table. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's just a huge hollow finger bang in the yeah. air. No, yeah. no, <laughs> this is how you play Jenga. Uh, you play Jenga, and if you topple the tower, you lose a finger. Mm. Finger. Yeah. And then you just replicate a new one. <laughs> yeah, just I guess stick so. it back on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The p- yeah. Peak performance. Uh, it first aired on July 10th of 1989. Dan, let's go. Around the sun is where we're going. Zoom. Uh, this is not only one week after the last episode. Uh, mm-hmm. it turns out that it was, I think, two weeks. I think they might have actually aired on a different day of the week. Yeah, I think it's about two and a half weeks later. Yeah. They might have switched their schedule. Like you said, it was syndicated, so they could just be throwing release dates around whenever, randomly. Yeah, I'm not about to figure it out on the calendar. Someone else can do that. All right, anyway, June 30th, we got The Karate Kid Part 3 released oh, in theaters. Oh, the weird um, one. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> it's not that bad. I rewatched it. It's not that bad. It's not bad. It's just strange. because Doctor for- Strange. <laughs> Because for some reason, Daniel believes that guy into, and he gets tricked into becoming part of Cobra Kai, which is like weird. <laughs> it's, it's weird. I've never seen it. You know, I mean, I know that I myself am named Daniel and I've been called Daniel San <laughs> most of my life. In fact, and you're like, it wasn't you're until, like why? Why? It wasn't, <laughs> until, it wasn't until college when I fi- when it finally clicked because I didn't see the Karate Kid until then. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, you didn't even like, know. I didn't, I, didn't, oh. I didn't know that Daniel San in particular came came directly from Karate Kid. Mm, did you okay. think everybody was just racist to shit, dude? <laughs> it's easy to assume. Yeah, no, I, I agree. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> wax on, wax off, I knew. Yeah, But yeah, Daniel yeah. Sonnen, yeah, like, pretty... you know, and how he kept on calling him that, I didn't know that. Yeah. Anyway, then, uh, one day later, Hugh Hefner, founder of Playboy Magazine, got married to a playmate, Kimberly Conrad, and I put that in just because I'm just so happy that he found his one true love. <laughs> what a wholesome man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Silence. Two days later, Batman, <laughs> Tim Burton's Batman, set a record by grossing $100 million in 10 days. Damn. That's $10 million a day. All. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty dang good. And then uh, two days later, Weekend at Bernie's was released. Ooh, Weekend and Bernie Max or Bernie yeah. Sanders. Um, yeah, both of those Bernie's were prominently featured in the film. <laughs> you should watch it. 
<laughs> That's a sequel. The sequel is Weekend at Bernie's, and it's multiple Bernie's. Also on the same day, <laughs> Seinfeld aired its pilot on NBC. Oh, really? Yeah, Seinfeld oh, debuted okay. in the interim. Um, and then two days later after that, Lethal Weapon 2. Oh, the least. diplomatic community one. Mm-hmm. The mm-hmm. least of all the fucking weapons. Yeah. <laughs> uh, wait, was that also the one with the toilet bomb? I think so, yeah. That's a toilet bomb where they have to get where the, the guy. toilet had diplomatic immunity and so they couldn't bomb it. <laughs> is, is, right? that the one, is that the one where they're chasing an armored truck in the beginning? Oh, I don't remember. Because if it is, I, I know one of the armored truck guys. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> you know one of the armored trucks. Yeah. You're, of, you're, yeah. you're, you're good friends with that truck. Good friends with that armored truck. <laughs> yeah. Good old Lagarda. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh, uh, boy. And finally, yeah, his, his name is Ricky Manzana. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's you, goddammit. <laughs> uh, unless, uh, unless, unless he died in like an awful heist and you took up his mantle. Yeah, dude. It's like, it's like the, um, the Batman mantle. And many people can play him. Mm. <laughs> Bruno Diaz in, in, in Mexico, if you're in Mexico. Mm-hmm. That's between okay. in Spanish. Right, right. And then, then you told the lady, actually, call me by my other name, Robin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Going up by their name, Ricky God Manzano. <laughs> right. uh, and I have a somber ending on the actual on the actual air date of July 10th. Mel Blank, beloved voice of just about every Looney Tunes mm. character you can remember, died at the age of 80, and he was working pretty up close to his his death. He was still, you know, providing voices for things. Yeah, um, he, was, he was training well his through replacements the 80s. up till his death, I think. Yeah, like I think by that point he wasn't actually voicing every Looney Tunes character himself anymore. But yeah. like for a good, you know, like back in the golden age, he definitely was. Yeah, yeah. Oh wow. Well. I'm gonna say it because no one will. Mel Blanks is a piece of shit, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> he was. Yeah, he was he's buried in the Hollywood shit. Forever Cemetery. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Next yeah. time you go to a Sinespia event, you could check him out. Say hi. Yeah. Well. <laughs> We'll uh, we'll walk by as we watch Blade and we'll like yeah. hello Mel Blank. We're not here for you. We're here for Blade. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> some motherfuckers always trying to pass up Mel Blank for Blade. <laughs> I'm excited. Sarah's never seen Blade. <laughs> so oh I wanna, man! I wanna, <laughs> wait, was wait? You really going? You really going? First yeah, blade? yeah, yeah. We're we're, we're gonna, yeah. The first Blade. She's never watched any of the Blades. It's funny because the Blade when they were we were at Snespia and they were showing off uh, their advertising Blade. Uh-huh. Um, they showed the three posters for Blade, oh, yeah. and then she was like, "Oh, that that poster is cool." Blade two shows up. Oh, that poster is cool. Blade three shows up. Blade Trinity. She goes, "That one looks terrible." <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because just the wheels on it. Well, because it just looks so cheap. It looks like a, <laughs> it looks like like one of those cheap like blockbuster straight to blockbuster DVD covers. Sure, sure. <laughs> Is it because like Blade Three looks like the Transmorphers to Blade One? Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy. But you know, you know what isn't the Transmorphers to the internet? That's a terrible transition. Anyway, ExpressVPN. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> What's ExpressVPN? Well, ExpressVPN is a VPN service, and VPNs in general are good because, as Ricardo is wont to say, you don't want to raw dog the internet. And a VPN isn't perfect security, but it is a large and very good part of exploring a more secure internet because these days people do all sorts of shit just, just by... Figuring out where you've been and shit like that. You know, did you know I I, I saw the other day uh, someone figured out a way to break into your phone. Like Using? there's a way there's a way to track the pattern, like the, the, the way you hold your phone and the cadence at which you press buttons to figure out your passcode. What? Yeah, it's fucking crazy. That's magic. Yeah, and it works like I think it works like eighty to ninety percent of the time, which is a very high success rate. Yeah. Uh, whoever designed so, that, he deserves my money. <laughs> <laughs> just that so, one you know, guy though if he distributes it to others and they exploit his good work then i don't i no longer approve yeah i, I agree dude i agree if that yeah, dude so, took the time to figure that out dude <laughs> yeah he, he deserves it he deserves give it, it to <laughs> him <laughs> yeah yeah so you know things like vpns and you know being vigilant about your you know, vigilant vigilant uh, about your general it security what you gotta be diligent in your vigilance 
Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Dil- Dilavent. Uh, and uh, ExpressVPN is a great service because as most compared to most other VPN servers as it, uh, services as it goes, it's very secure. It's one of the most secure in the world. There was actually a big event with the Turkish government where they tried to raid their servers. And I can say no- big event. It, it implies like it was like organized. <laughs> Yeah, it was like a, it was. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah it was they, like they, it was they like they fucking, sent out like, flyers and <laughs> yep. It was just like a everyone. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but when they came, there was no party. There were no activity logs. Their connection logs. Yeah, and reg- uh, ExpressVPN gets themselves audited regularly by third party services as well to prove that they remain secure and impartial. And they're available in pretty much every country you can think of, except China. Uh, except most, Turkey. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, that's good because I couldn't think of China. <laughs> yeah, a lot, a lot of VPN services just don't work in China. And uh, as we said before, it's very good for using for streaming services because ExpressVPN has so many different locations you can choose from. You can just choose a very specific, not very used location. Netflix won't recognize it. And you can find all sorts of shits in other regions that the streaming service won't let you see otherwise. And this is especially good for some services like, for example, Hulu. Netflix doesn't or- recognize Canada as a country. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's actually a, a strange I'm amount Canadian of Canadians. I apologize. I didn't mean to because your country. because Netflix is the only source of streaming for certain shows in Canada. Mm-hmm. Like there's a lot of shows that are available in Canada and Netflix that isn't available in America. Like um, like I think random things like all of Breaking Bad or something like that, and all of Better Call Saul, or random things like that. I don't know. I don't remember exactly, but it is different from country to country. And sometimes it's fun to just hop to a different country on your streaming service and see well, what some they places have. Don't, versus- some places don't have HBO, so they, they only have Netflix, so they run HBO shows on Netflix. Yeah, that's that's the thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's a truest form of tourism. You know, it's like, it's like <laughs> the opportunity to just go to a hotel room in another city and yeah, check out what weird yeah. local news they have. Yeah. And all the channels are wrong. <laughs> I mean, it's funny. You go to Canada and you turn on the news. It's so calm. <laughs> <laughs> There's very little to talk about. <laughs> they they have like, a segment well, every once in a while where they talk our, about America. <laughs> I guess we found more blackface pictures of our prime minister, but eh. 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 <laughs> eh. Like, what are you, anyway. you going to do? What are you going to do? <laughs> <laughs> what, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Sometimes people blackface. <laughs> you can't oh stop them. You can't stop them. Uh, but wait, 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 anyway, uh, I'm sure ExpressVPN loves us mentioning blackface during their promo spot. ExpressVPN, <laughs> it's just it's ExpressVPN is just good. Look, if you need to look up, you know, you know the history of blackface and who's been doing it, and yeah, you, know, you don't want to be associated how, with it at all. You, you definitely want to get that, you know, hire that gigolo to explore the world of, <laughs> <laughs> of blackface for you. <laughs> He'll tell you what's good. Oh, and no. then <laughs> Listen, if you want wow. ExpressVPN and you want a good deal on it, just go to expressvpn.com slash newbie Star Trek. That's N-E-W-B-I-E Star Trek. And if you sign up for 12 months, you get an extra three months for free. And that's a total savings of 49%, which is a pretty dang good deal for a VPN of this service. So again, that's expressvpn.com slash newbie star trek in conclusion i blame trudeau yeah (laughs) yeah having a vpn is just having good digital hygiene that's it that's that's actually a really good way to put it um there are it's 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 one of a a a suite of things you should take into account when you're trying to access the internet safely you know like like one really really practical thing i do all the time whenever i do any online baking i use use my vpn because i know what Online banking. Baking, oh, okay. baking. When you, when you cooking <laughs> I cakes. heard baking. I totally heard baking. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Whenever I'm I'm doing anything that's financially sensitive, I tend to use a VPN. Uh, when when I'm, whenever for- I'm doing my online Great British baking. <laughs> and whenever I'm actually looking for um, airline tickets, I actually use a VPN. You actually get better deals. Um, it's like yes. not super significant sometimes. It's like $10. Hey, $10 is $10 sometimes, you know? $10 and, like, is, is like... A subscription, a subscription to Dan's OnlyFans a month per month. Yeah, <laughs> it went up recently. Yeah, it went up. it's still mostly. You know, you can still get most of it. Yeah, it's he worth every free penny. Account. He's got a free account, and then he's got the paid account. So, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you heard us discussing thongs all last week, mm-hmm. and well, well, hop over to the, to the OnlyFans to discover more. Th- 
Do you think that would be a thing in Star Trek? Like OnlyFans? Do you think for sure. Would- for sure. Oh, absolutely. Mm. Yeah. Do you think Denise Crosby would have had an OnlyFans? No. You know who would subscribe to a bunch of OnlyFans? Fucking Riker, dude. With his Harper. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah sure. Oh, Harper's yeah. Oh. Uh, Harper. Uh, Riker's <laughs> in, in massive debt because of all the OnlyFans <laughs> ladies he's supporting. <laughs> Uh, so you know just like picard he has to be a first officer to pay his debts <laughs> you know what you're right denise crosby wouldn't have an only fans this is all she wants to know ricardo could you please tell us what happened in this episode sorry for not letting you segue smoothly <laughs> I, w- I was just fishing in general it's always a okay. fishing attempt which you won't be yeah. caught by if you have like as, PC, as time goes on, it's going to become more and more blatantly <laughs> obvious that, you know, anytime we bring up Denise Crosby, <laughs> we're just looking for an in for this. <laughs> uh, yeah. By the way, um, ExpressVPN is not like, well, VPNs in general, they're not immutable. Like you can still get fished if you're a dumbass. So yeah, be, yeah. be careful. It doesn't guard <laughs> against stupidity. Um, <laughs> look, this year we got Denise Crosby next year. Maybe Bill Cosby. Huh? Huh? Mm. We don't know, dude. We'll see if they let him in jail. You'll probably let be dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll see if they let him do cameos. Oh. Um, <laughs> from his jail cell. Cameos. Jail cell? No, no, no they let, they released him, right? Isn't uh, did they fucking let so. him out? I think yeah. they did. Yeah, they they did. Yeah. yeah. Uh, for the record, Bill Cousy's a piece of shit too. <laughs> um. All right. That one's for real. Yeah. 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 There's um, stuff to back that up. Yeah. All right. First of all, uh, I need to say as soon as this guy came on screen, the Mandalorian guy. With the <laughs> weird face. I was like, I recognize that voice anywhere. And I realized oh, really? oh. that his name's uh, Roy uh, Brocksmith. And he is the doctor in Total Recall. Oh. Remember? The, oh, remember, yeah. Remember he the goes one, to see one, him one who is sweating. Uh, the sweat? Yeah, the one sweat drop. And he goes, yeah. fuck this. And he kills yeah. everyone. And he's, uh, uh, he's uh, oh, yeah. Hold my gun. Hold my bullet. A lot of, he says. Yeah, we had the the the, the three breast lady in this one, too. In this year, series, too. There's a lot of. Yeah. You know, lots of. Yeah. What, well, what's next? Like, is, 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 is Arnold? Uh, Dean Norris going to show up? Fucking yeah. <laughs> I hope so. He might actually. I'm not even joking. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Hang on. Let me just double check really quick. Uh, but go on. Please continue. So, um, well, that'd be cool if, if it'd be cool if Michael Ironside showed up. Does he ever show up to, on this thing? You know what I think I should call him? Ronnie Cox? I feel like. What? No, I'm just naming names from Total Recall. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I feel like this guy, this this Zach Dorn, Sirna Kolrami guy, mm. he should be called Friar Palpatine. <laughs> Ooh, I like that. Um, uh, so the episode starts off, and the, he's he's like really mousy and fucking like nitpicky, and he's basically this guy who who was sent by Starfleet, right, mm-hmm. to conduct some war games to see yeah. how. And it's it's really weird because it's like I, I I'm surprised this doesn't happen more often with all the shit that goes on with the Enterprise. <laughs> <laughs> like like we've said this over and over, but I I had to repeat it. It's worth repeating. They, a child has almost taken down the Enterprise like three four times. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The, uh, there should be a, an internal affairs investigation into why this <laughs> happened and why is this child still walking well, free? Ostensibly near the end of the first season, they kind of did one. Only that yeah. it turned out to be like a you know the, it turns out Starfleet the guy inexplicably yeah. you know got turned around and said you know what you guys are great I don't yeah, care yeah, about all of the horrible violations this ship has undergone Starfleet's yeah. really lax with their regulations they're just like ah oh, you're doing the best you can <laughs> and they, yeah. they move on what can we do <laughs> they're like what can we what do? Are you gonna, yeah what are you gonna do and so they're like how this is gonna work out is that they're going to for some stupid reason, this is a very stupid thing. They're gonna they're gonna fly over to this other ship that's like a just a busted ass ship, and they're which gonna- is weird. Why? The thing I don't understand is why was this left there for seemingly decades? Yeah, it, it's and, a little strange. Why if they're gonna if they're gonna do a, a war game simulation, why not go to near a star base and go? Okay, this is this is the like trainer ship. That we train everybody on, but we also well, use it for, for, for work. Do this in a fucking holodeck. Yeah, that's dude. what I was gonna say too. Yeah. yeah, this is a very easy holodeck simulation. Yeah, dude, get a bunch <laughs> of. You could combine everything. You could combine sex stuff in the holodeck, <laughs> killing. Like, what? What if you know? Like, oh, this is crazy. This is really dark. But what if you went in there and they fought each other and they kill? Like, so the so like takes for instance, like 
Riker would go in and he would do his test, right? He'd be he'd be facing off against mm-hmm. Picard, but that Picard was a holodeck image, mm-hmm. and he could really kill him. You know, he could blow him up. Mm-hmm. Uh, so anyway, uh, all these cool scenarios that they don't ever do. What they do <laughs> is they go to a busted ass ship and they're like, "Well, get it going," and then you know, we'll you got fu- two we'll days do- to make this ship fly, <laughs> and then we're gonna pretend to fight. Yeah. yeah, it's gonna be yeah. great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're gonna this shoot laser help us tag fight lasers. The Borg. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 this will should... prepare us for the Borg. Yeah. We're, we're gonna play uh, galactic laser tag. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's laser tag. It's fucking laser tag. It's yeah. laser tag uh, because they're scared of the Borg. You know. <laughs> So yeah. it's, it's very stupid. We're scared of the boy. We're going to play laser tag. <laughs> We're hey. scared of the Swedish. Hey. Uh, so Borg, um, Borg is coming. Yeah. Borg Romano is coming. <laughs> um, so, what? so they basically say, they're like, hey, pick your guy who you're going to fight. And they're like, well, clearly I'm going to fucking battle fucking Riker. And Riker's yeah. like, yeah, dude. All right. Yeah, I love to fight. Yeah. Uh, I love to fight. And I don't like carp ladies. My two favorite things <laughs> in the world. And Express VPN. <laughs> so, the, so the captain doesn't find out what kind of porn I'm looking at. <laughs> you know, Riker uses a VPN, dude. He's, mm-hmm. he's searching all kinds of weird ass fucking Eastern European. He's using like fucking... 10 VPNs at the same time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> his, his internet speed is so slow because he's using so many <laughs> VPNs. <laughs> all right. So he's like, he's like, all right, uh, you, you picked your man. So then Riker's got to pick like a few p- crew members that he's going to take over to be his screw mm-hmm. on the bridge. Yep. And it becomes pretty funny because he goes, he goes to Worf and he's like, he basically is like, he, he picks him because he's a warrior, but he asks him, he asks him, if, he asks, he asks him a few questions. Like, like why, like what's the reason in fighting? Well, well how does it go? I got, I got to go to that scene. He's like, why do you still fight or something? Like that? And he's like, if there's nothing to be won from battle, because oh, it's a simulation, I, oh, you you mean, like Worf. Yeah, because yeah, Worf, Worf wants stakes, honor. Yeah, yeah, he wants stakes. He's like, there's nothing, there's nothing at stake here. So like, there's, it, it, it makes sense though. Like, it's like, he's like, there's nothing at stake. So like, there's no use in fighting, not giving it your all because there's nothing. Yeah, at stake. and I think Worf may also be like, I don't know if I'll be properly motivated if, if I don't feel like we're really gonna die. <laughs> yeah, so. yeah, yeah. But I think uh, he becomes intrigued because Riker presents a scenario. It's like, you know, this is supposed to be an unwinnable, a be- unwinnable battle for us. Like in, in every, like, if this were real, we would die. Yeah. yeah, yeah but yeah. can you win? You know, and Worf says, yeah. all you got to do is choose Guile from the character. Yeah, select. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, he's like, just pick the guy with the flat top. Um, <laughs> he's, he's all, you're just out, man. Just get in the plane. <laughs> yeah. Just get in the starship. He's all, you're out, man. <laughs> You're uh you're outgunned and you're out equipped. What else do you have? And he goes, Guile. And yeah. he's like, Yeah, dude. Guile's a top tier character in this version. <laughs> yeah. And he's all yeah. and then and then Worf's theme goes with everything. Riker <laughs> says, Who wants to go home? And who wants to <laughs> yeah. go with me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what happens. Yeah. yeah. And then they they're both about to leave Worf's yeah. quarters and walk out. But then yeah. as they open their door, they look down and there's a sandwich made, cut into the shape of SF. <laughs> On the floor. <laughs> God damn it. We dude. are going to beat Picard's ass so hard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's we a, have next no Picard choice. Wannabe is going to no feel it. choice. Yeah. At all. Um, and then, and so he We're picks Jordy. He picks Jordy. He picks uh, Worf. And then the captain's like, yeah, you could take everybody but Data, you know. <laughs> yeah, what a f- Data is too. like the ultimate weapon. Yeah. <laughs> I am glad though that they kind of like acknowledge him as such a trump card. Yeah. You know, it's like yeah, yeah like he, he's the best fucking guy. You're not taking yeah. him. You don't yeah. really need Picard. You just need Data. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Picard just could go have tea in his room and wait out the war game while while Data takes care of everything. And then he picks fucking Wesley, dude. He's like, oh, I'd like to take Wesley, too. Yeah. I hate that part. Yeah, dude. It's like, oh, he just dude. goes up to him and is like, hey, Wesley, want to come watch? Yeah. You want to come and watch tro- me? He chose Wesley because he, he had a feeling that Wesley's a huge cheater and a for criminal. Sure, for sure. For sure. So, yeah, yeah. true. He does contribute via <laughs> yeah, massive cheating. Yeah. They'll need, they'll need to use criminal tactics in order to win. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's but true, it's, it's, also, true. it's also like this. Like, I, this is how I saw this episode. And look, again, I like this episode. Yeah. <laughs> that he's like, look, and th- this is how I feel like he feels in the episode. That he's like, look, I'd really like to get my hands on an Xbox. You know what I mean? 
but uh, but they're all sold out. But you know, if you happen to come about one, and don't tell me how you come about it, <laughs> if one falls off a truck <laughs> and just magically appears in my apartment, hey, I'm not gonna say anything. Who? <laughs> <laughs> He's like Andrew Dice Clay for some reason. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, but um, but I think that he's okay. He, he's like as long as I don't see it, I'm okay with it. Yeah. Which is weird. Yeah, sure. which is really weird. And yeah. I think that's why he picked him. Because he's like, look, he likes to cheat. He likes to kill people. Yeah. Secretly, I think he's a serial killer. <laughs> <laughs> the population yeah. of the Enterprise has been slowly decreasing, and no one knows yeah. why. Yeah. <laughs> and for, for all, he, you know, he could be, he could be, Wesley could be killing people at night, like some sort of fucking <laughs> like night stalker, and then bringing them back from their last save on the transporter. So oh, no one's a wiser. Just, just to just to feel the kill. Yeah, and then he's yeah. like, I, I've killed it, and he, so eventually, like in his whole run from from like teenager to you know a twenty five year old, he's killed everybody on the ship. <laughs> <laughs> I think there are drafts of Groundhog Day that involves those sorts of plots. I mean, this that this is the plot. That's a potential plot of an episode that could be written, where it's like a serial killer mm-hmm. who like kills people but brings them back so you can kill them again. And like, and then he gets bored. Yeah, but then like he makes an argument at the end. It's like I've never actually hurt anybody. They always come back. What's the difference between this and the transporter? It's the same thing. Yeah, and, then, and they're and like, then, you know what? You're right, dude. <laughs> you're like, you are you, are you are unraveling captain. our our <laughs> universal lore. You're asking <laughs> questions that are too big for any of our series to to address. Oh, yeah. our, you our have sense to of morality is fucked. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> So this 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 guy this guy from Total Recall he's a real smug bitch dude. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh yeah, boy uh, is he, Senator Palpatine. And so they're like, <laughs> and then Riker's like, hey, I want to challenge you to fucking Jenga, uh, finger bang Jenga. <laughs> and he's like, he's like, huh? Well, uh, I'll, you know, it's fine. <laughs> and Riker's like, we're not gonna be there for like eight hours, dude. Chill out. Let's go fucking let's go Jenga yeah, the shit yeah, out yeah. of each other. I like and, the idea yeah. of someone being a third level grandmaster at Jenga. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> And this guy's all right. Let's fucking do it, dude. I'll bet if you studied hard, like if you bothered to categorize, you could you could do it. Oh, I'm, yeah, I'm sure. sure there are people who are much better at Jenga than others. Yeah, that's true. That's <laughs> you just true. need the scrutiny. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. And and so he's walking down the hallway with Jordy, and he's like, well, "Why are you challenge? Why did you challenge him?" And he's like, "Ah, just to play with him is a privilege." And like, it's basically to like size him up, you know? Like, yeah, yeah. You just size up people, and then you fucking beat them. Like, mm-hmm. it's. He's, get, he's getting information. Yeah, yeah. it's it's why what, what I like about poker mm-hmm. and what I hate about poker scenes in this fucking show is that they're fucking so lame. <laughs> but um, <laughs> that in poker you're not really at the end of the day you're not playing the cards. You're you're not playing against the cards of your opponent. Yeah. You're playing against the person. Yeah, it's like if you're right. playing like the first round of a fighting game with someone you never played before. You kind of like yeah. test them. You play footsies with them to go. What do you mm-hmm. do when I do this? Yeah, yeah, yep, 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 yep. What happens? What happens? <clears throat> and and you you basically are playing and and you're acting too in in, in fucking poker. Like mm-hmm. it's mm-hmm. a game of like, okay, I can you trick me into thinking you have something else? And sometimes you can win with nothing. You know what I mean, which is cool. And yeah. same, it's the same thing for for these these games of strategy, um, where sometimes nothing can be as it's said in Cool Hand Luke. Sometimes nothing can be a real cool hand. Yeah. Um. All right. So then, um, they they finger bang, and of course, <laughs> fucking Palpatine wins. You know. Well, yeah. first they install a whole bunch of ex- Express VPNs on all their fingers. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you know what it looks like? It looks like the things they put in cows' udders to milk yeah, them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was trying to think of what this looked like. They look like they're yeah, sucking totally the energy, energy out of their fingers. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah, they're sucking milk out of their fingernails. Yeah, and yeah, the old so, finger milk. Yeah, Ugh. and so um, they get to the ship and they <laughs> they send over you know um, Riker and his team over, and this ship is fucked up. I don't know how it supports life. I don't know how it's making oxygen. This ship is yeah. really fucked up. There's yeah. wires I love everywhere. How when a ship is like old and like you know in disrepair. It's just a bunch of wires everywhere. Yeah, but yeah. Also, it's like in order to make it look properly old, you just have to open up every console and pull up all the wires. But also well, because well, because- imagine <laughs> imagine like nowadays if, if you leave a house for a bit, they'll they'll strip the copper wiring, dude. Wow. Uh, so some the future, space marauders. Yeah, they're like into those get the copper from that fucking shit. What was it called? The Hathaway? Yeah, the Hathaway. Yeah, the yeah. Anne Hathaway. Yeah, yeah. yeah the it's Anne just, Hathaway. They everyone, board it. Yeah, everyone like, hates uh, her. Catwoman. Be, this yeah. Catwoman sucks. They're like they're like we we hate 
hate we hate this fucking ship. But then they grow to love her because they really she's a good actress. I mean, a good ship. <laughs> yeah. It's just funny because it's her like, mouth isn't that big. It, it's supposed to be an abandoned ship, but before they abandoned it, they covered everything in sheets. As if, like, you know, when you're, like, leaving, like, an, let's, like, when you close up an arcade, you cover everything in sheets. You're just you're just <laughs> doing that from Tron Legacy. Well. You're, you're just referencing I, Tron Legacy. I've seen that in general, where. It is they, true. Like, when businesses shut down, like, they, they don't put in anything over the, they're like, fuck it, this place burns down. <laughs> I'm going to yeah, put that whole, like, removing the dusty sheet thing. Yeah. It's such a movie. Yeah. The, <laughs> movie shit. If, if I was closing down my business, I would put newspaper everywhere. So, in, in hopes that it would catch on fire. <laughs> and just pour gasoline but like i didn't light the gasoline i just poured yeah. it everywhere I look mean, you can't i did put sheets me. unless the sheets they're putting over the equipment are gasoline soaked <laughs> so they're like please spark please spark it doesn't and count that's, as and that's F- why they leave the wiring uh, exposed because they're like if something like like short circuits yeah yeah they're like oh, fire was it us? yeah see it doesn't count as arson if all of your efforts to make fire happen only leave it at like a 25 percent chance of probability <laughs> yeah yeah. So so they go inspect the ship and like the kyber crystals, whatever they're called, like they're <laughs> they're not they're not all there and they're like, ah, we can't get warp speed off of this piece of shit. Mm-hmm. And already you could see um you could see Crusher and Crusher's like, eh, well, we have no chance of winning. Eh. And then fucking Riker's like, hey, you bitch. You can go you home if you have want. Attitude, go home, dude. And he says, <laughs> yeah, you he said basically yes says, to this assignment. <laughs> yeah. He basically says what Denzel says to Ethan Hawke. He's like, hey, do you want to go home or you want to go to jail? And, he, <laughs> <laughs> and then he's like, oh, I want to go home. And uh, so so he um, he's like, then shut up, dude. And start fucking working, you bitch. <laughs> and so they start inspecting things. And then... Um, Dr. Uh, Pulaski really hates this guy, dude. Palpatine. Yeah. Oh, she, yeah. She, she, it's she weird. Really wants this entire to, like, B plot take down. is very is motivated by very petty motivations. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's and, all petty. But, but I love how I love the relationship between her and Data. Like, yeah, they've grown a lot. They've She's grown like, a lot. Yeah. yeah. And and she cares for him because like she literally was like, hey, we 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 fucked him up. We fucked his ego up. And he's yeah. like, no, it's not about ego. It's about like programming. Mm-hmm. But he's like, nah. He's like. Uh, he she really cares because she gets Deanna Troy to to, to step in, and yeah, eventually yeah. they both go to Ke- Picard to help, yeah, him, yeah. help him. But yeah, anyway, luckily, getting, Picard knows exactly what to do. Yeah, he's like, shut the fuck up and get in the fucking get, <laughs> get in the fucking car, <laughs> get in the fucking car, dude. You fuck like he <laughs> that he did that he he did that version of it for <laughs> for broadcast TV. Um. And so they, uh, this smug guy, I hate this fucking Palpatine guy. Um, and so, <clears throat> so he, he basically talks shit about Riker this whole time. He, he yeah. just keeps talking shit. And, um, yeah, like Pulaski has it in for him, but he has it in for Riker. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he, he likes him. Um, <laughs> mm. and, and, and he, um, and then Pulaski uses, he, he like says something about data and he, she uses it to in, like instigate a game. Right. Right. Uh, cause she wants data to make him look like a fool. But, mm-hmm. Which which we all do. He's kind of smug. Mm-hmm. But then 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 Picard's like, "Hey, what the fuck? Why are you always talking shit about Riker? Like, what's your problem, dude?" And he he basically defends Riker. He's like, "How oh, he's he's the number one, dude. He's the best." And then the smug guy's like, "Well, he's really showy, and he's like a showman, and he's like he's like he basically gets upset because Riker's like flashy." And like, <laughs> yeah, really loud like, and, I guess. And, and and is jovial. Yeah, like, yeah, and, jo- and takes it, 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 like everything's light. And he's like, no, that's why he'll make a good captain because he is like, that's how he builds trust. And that's why people like him. And that's why to me, to be fair, though, it's like uh, Picard says Riker is the best officer he's ever worked with. Right. And I, I find that a little hard to believe. Like Riker seems <laughs> fine. I'm not sure what he has done that makes him the best officer he has ever worked with. He, he, here's the truth, dude. The best officer he's ever worked with. He killed because it was it was Beverly's husband, and he killed him. So felt he threatened. Her. Yeah, <laughs> just saying, dude. He can't say, "Oh, it's the man I killed." He was a better man, so I killed him. Yeah, He's gotta yeah. say, Riker, dude. Um, <laughs> by the way, there's a crewman who is in this whole episode. He's he's like a he's got reddish hair. Yeah, that redheaded yeah. guy. Yeah, who yeah. takes over ops that guy. for Worf. Yeah, he's a character actor, and he's in, he's in like every Michael Bay movie. He plays like a military guy in every Michael oh, Bay okay. movie. Yeah. Um, he's really good, and he he oh he plays he plays one of the dads in Fr- Friday Night Lights, and he plays a cop. He always plays like an like a cop or an officer. He he has that look, and he has that cadence that is oh, okay. Works really well. 
And it's funny to see him with hair because he's usually like, like got like a crew cut or he's bald in in <laughs> other movies. So it's it's funny to see him with hair. Uh, anyway, well, that he, particular actor you just mentioned, he really shines in that scene with when Wesley's picking up his stupid project. Oh yeah, he's like, yeah, 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 yeah. I get it. just shut up and fucking get your fucking shit. Like yeah. we're like quit wasting my fucking time, dude. <laughs> And he keeps like looking away, like at something but that yeah, he's trying good. to pay that attention sucks. to. That's too bad. Yeah, yeah, he's like go. completely unattentive. <laughs> it's it's so awesome. I love that guy. I mean, he's I probably think- pissed because he has to fucking babysit this little kid. He's like, yeah. yeah. Well, well, here's the thing, dude. He's finally on the bridge, dude, because mm. the, the A team is is away, right? The wharf. He's basically seeing Wharf's place, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. But anytime he, he, I imagine anytime that he would be there on the bridge, this guy, this crew member. He he always gets punked by fucking uh, uh, Wesley Crusher, dude. <laughs> Who shouldn't be there, by the way. So, like, he wanted to be on the bridge finally, but Crusher kept taking his spot. And now yeah. he gets to be on yeah. the bridge. But now he has to escort Crusher. Literally babysit Crusher. Yeah. And he's That's like, fucked oh, up, dude. Fuck. Makes it's sense It's a cool me. world out there, dude. <laughs> so then Worf is like, uh, I have an idea. How about we do this? And he comes with a crazy plot to, like, he basically hacks the Enterprise, right? And he projects, and this is where we find out that the screen they're looking out of is actually a projection and not a window. Right, right, he says, right. we'll project something onto the screen so it looks like there's a, a ship showing up, and they'll concentrate on that, and then it'll give us time to like come back around and fucking poke them in the butt. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, they, they, I think it's funny because they have such a reliance on the fact that on this computer monitor, uh-huh. but like even modern ships, like modern, like high-tech nuclear-powered American naval ships, they look out windows. <laughs> yeah. you, you, they have a very sophisticated, like, it's it's so easy to just say and do. That's like, hey, I'm going to put in a projection of like an enemy ship. Yeah. And it, it's right there. It's fully formed. It looks 100% real and convincing. Like, who, how who does modeled, that work? Who modeled this CG ship? How did, who programmed its yeah. behavior? <laughs> did, you, did you call ILM? <laughs> yeah. Did you like... Yeah, who, who made this? An who modeled it to make this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. And, and, and I feel like Riker in in a different universe, in a different multiverse. He's like, I like this idea, but hear me out. <laughs> Instead of a ship approaching, we put harp ladies up there. It confuses them. It gigantic, arouses them. Gigantic, gigantic harp, harp suit. Yeah, I'm talking yeah. about floor to ceiling. The, the whole the whole jumbotron thing in the, in, in the bridge. Harp ladies. Half naked, they get distracted. Their mouths start salivating, and they don't know where to. <laughs> Picard's <laughs> like, yeah. "I can't look away. I can't. I can't concentrate." And he's Zoom like, and we come, "Yeah, we come back around. <laughs> Zoom, magnify <laughs> on the harps. Yeah, it's the, he wants on the harps. The harps, of course, on the harps." <laughs> um, and so they, he's like, "Yeah, I like that idea, dude. We're gonna trick them, dude." Yeah. And then it eventually, one in in one point of this episode, they say that that's his strength that he likes to improvise. That he likes to play jazz. That like, <laughs> <laughs> but this is tw- improvising. Only, only twenty percent of the time does he ever go with like the, the standard maneuver, the or, standard maneuvers that you yeah. should do. He's yeah, always yeah. doing some crazy shit. Yeah, uh, he's always trying to put harp ladies on screens. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Riker. Data's Data's like. Uh, He's like, Captain, 95% of the time, he always suggests harp ladies should be the answer to everything. <laughs> um, and uh, then Wesley's like, he goes to Riker and he's like, hey, I forgot my science experiment. <laughs> and he's like, okay. And I don't give a yeah. shit. Yeah. And cares. he's like, he's like, yeah, but it's kind of dangerous. Um, I was making meth. <laughs> <laughs> the it. it might blow up the starship, the the Enterprise, and they're what? like, they're like, well, the uh, room he, smells it, like cat piss right now. I gotta go yeah. in there and make sure. He's like, he's like, I guess, I guess, I guess you go go check it. And that's so dangerous that like this guy set off an experiment that it's so dangerous that yeah. he has to leave an exercise, go back to his ship to shut it down, and and so um. Riker asked permission from from uh for Picard and Picard asked the Weasley man. He's like, Yeah, it's fine as long as somebody or escorts him. Yeah. And and literally he opens up this closet that's hidden, by the way. <laughs> you can't even tell that it's there. Like he yeah. opens up this weird like wall thing and there's an experiment happening in the background. And it literally looks like he's cooking crack cocaine, dude. <laughs> like he's like he's built he's building a huge eight ball of yeah, just he's, cocaine. Yeah, he's either it looks like either like some sort of like chemical experiment or like mm-hmm. a like a dirty bomb. 
<laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. It's like uranium he's a, in it. He's, he's like, <laughs> he's like in the early nine in the late nineteenth century. Uh, there was a crack. There was a crack epidemic. I'm, I'm making trying to a replicate. I'm, I'm making a substance. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm trying I'm to replicate the <laughs> epidemic like, on board. <laughs> It's like I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to make a substance that's ten times more addictive. <laughs> We're gonna give it to the Ferengis. <laughs> it's called super crack. Yeah. We we sprinkle it on their ship as we fly yeah. by. <laughs> yeah. And see what it happens. instantly. Oh dude, what is the thing that kills people? A drug that if you touch it? Fentanyl, is that what it is? Oh, like what is like that drug uh, that like even cops can't like touch it. Anthrax. Die. Yeah. No, not anthrax. It's like a drug that is so potent. That like if if they if they find like a drug den full of that stuff, they have to send in like hazmat because police have touched it and like they've gotten really sick. I forgot what it's called. Oh, I think I know what the video you're talking about, but apparently that was like a a hoax. No, 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 no. This is a real drug. This is a real drug. Like I've people have when they clear out like drug houses, they they have when they're cooking it, they have to be really careful. Okay, you get diluted into like safe to inhale drugs, mm-hmm. but in its raw form, I think it's really dangerous to to. To, to touch it's okay. what it's what they, they've been lacing cocaine with and remember that there's a lot of people dying of this because the, the cocaine right now literally mm. is being laced with this stuff and if you don't do it right you can die mm. well whatever drug this is if we that's start, what this is making yeah, yeah if we google for it we should turn on our yeah VPNs but we, we don't google it unless we use express vpn <laughs> we don't want our internet service provider <laughs> finding out us googling how do you make cocaine <laughs> How do you especially make if you're listening, <laughs> yeah, Especially if you're listening to this episode at work and you're like, well, what, what is that drug they're talking about? Let me Google it. You don't yeah, want your boss yeah. finding out that you're Googling. <laughs> what is what is a really potent drug? <laughs> like, yeah, um, anytime anyway. we tell you to Google something, we're just assuming you have a VPN handy. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Y- y- seriously, dude. Even if you're just going to get the free trial, just do the VPN, dude. You don't want <laughs> to be Googling crack cocaine at work, dude. <laughs> uh, okay so then uh this guy you guys were talking about dude he's he's really acting it up dude like he's looking because he's like busy like he's like maybe he's looking for his old lady he's like oh where's my girlfriend she on here she did say she was looking for crack um she maybe could take wesley's crack <laughs> and so finally he's like oh and wesley's a good liar dude yeah, yeah. wesley's notoriously known well, he's a being, sociopath, so he yeah, has no yeah. no mental problems no, with no. lying. And it's he's all like, just words well, to him. He's like, this is dangerous. This is crack cocaine. I'm going <laughs> to beam it out of the ship and get it out of here. Yeah. And the guy's like, yeah, I don't give a shit. If I can snort. That seems care. super bad to do. Yeah. Like, this is dangerous. Let's kick it out of the ship. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> let's, let's launch it so someone ends up on the, uh, it ends up on somebody's windshield. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and it explodes. It like, it like they're near a planet. What if it yeah. enters? Like it falls falls back towards this planet. Yeah, and and it it, it causes like a fucking an, a, a drug. Yeah, epidemic. a crack epidemic starts because yeah. it spreads over the yeah, population. Dude. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I have a really quick question about the actual logistics here. Talk to was me, that yeah. experiment of Wesley's? Did it contain antimatter? Yeah, he was doing yes, some sort dude. of weird experiment, and it it just happened to contain antimatter. Did it also ha- contain any additional dilithium crystalline material? No, it didn't. Only antimatter. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. like, okay. by the way, antimatter is fucking dangerous. Who gave him antimatter? Yeah, I don't know where the fuck he got <laughs> he that. He stole it from Iranians, just like Doc Brown, dude. <laughs> Libyans. Yeah, it was a Libyans. Libyans. Yeah, Libyans, sorry. sorry Libyans. Libyans, Wesley. <laughs> uh, <laughs> God damn it, dude. Um, anyway. Uh, he he bought it from some nice like li- like okay. I was about to say Libyans. Uh, antimatter literally, <laughs> if it touches other matter, it removes that matter from existence. Well, but you gotta be careful. <laughs> you trust a, a, a child to, 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 to handle this <laughs> anyway. So what what does Wesley do with this antimatter? Is he beams it up to the goddamn uh, the Anne Hathaway? <laughs> And, mm-hmm. and it almost falls out of the thing. Yeah, it, it, and he I'm put like, it in a, re- <laughs> in a precarious, random spot. Yeah, and it falls over, and Jordy goes, "What the fuck?" Yeah. <laughs> um, and then, and then the next scene, uh, Data faces uh, Palpatine in a game of finger banging, and he loses. <laughs> and 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 Data is just crushed, dude. He's like, "How I d- does not compute? Does not compute?" Um, Basically, he's, he thinks he's broken. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, they start the war games and they, they figure out. So in the meantime, Data loses his mojo. Yeah. He lost his groove and Stella's got to get her groove back. Yeah. Austin Powers and, too. Yeah. yeah. And so 
can counselor Troy goes in there, try to tries to help him, and he's like, no, he's like, it's not about ego. It's that something's wrong with me that I can't give sound advice anymore because mm-hmm. if I can't win the simple game, then I'm fucked, dude. You know? Mm-hmm. And she's like, no, no, you don't have to worry about that, dude. Dude, you know me, cool dude. If Deanna Troy hooked up with Data, dude, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Is that is is it a thing we say shipped them? I shipped them. Is that a thing? People I say? think there's a reality where that's not something people say. Is that something uh, the kids are saying? Yeah, but I, but I, all of the kids. <laughs> well, I can also I haven't found one kid who doesn't. Oh, okay. Kids just come up to you, go shipping, shipping. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you you shipped it, my friend. And then when you're doing cool. <laughs> Yeah. Is that what they say? <laughs> it's like, you go, kid. You're shipping it, dude. Yeah. yeah. Uh, instead of sending it, it's shipping it. <laughs> yeah. I've shipped it, dude. Yeah. And then if you if you really did it really well, fuck, dude, you shipped it UPS style. Uh, you, you, you give let, it you, a- You let Brown do it for you. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah that universal power supply. Yeah. I, there's uh, a universe where I can imagine that Deanna Troy is just like, oh, she just casually has sex with lots of people. Because she is uh, half- betazoid so yeah they're like and eh, whatever like they they know how to separate sex from like emotional attachment so yeah yeah they're, they're be- much more evolved than us piece of shit humans <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> so it's true um it, it's sad and because it's true and then yeah. so Riker shows up and they're hooking up that fucking that crack cocaine into the ship <laughs> We're gonna power the ship with crack. <laughs> okay, it's like it's like solo, like the movie Solo, where they put the robot into the into the the. the oh Millennium yeah, Falcon. they they, gonna, tra- they trap her in the in the ship forever. <laughs> they put crack cocaine in the ship, and it's fast forever. Um, wow. <laughs> Um, oh, so anyway, man. so, uh, Riker catches him fucking with it and, and they're like, what the, he's like, what the fuck is that dude? What's <laughs> is that the, crack cocaine? <laughs> what is that crack cocaine? And he's like, oh, that's just a, a just some antimatter I was fucking with. And he's like, excuse me. <laughs> he's like, oh, it's just, I said, it's, just, uh, it's my antimatter experiment that I had. And he's like, is that why you went back to the ship? And he's like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah and he's worry. like, at first he's like, and he look, he doesn't look disappointed when he says that, but he's like, yeah, you, yeah. Went, you went back for the enterprise for that. And he's like, yeah. And he's like, uh, yeah. And he's like, he's like, Wes, you cheated, but he doesn't say it like with like, yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't believe it, dude. He's this kind of like of, a grin. He's kind of like, yeah, Wes, yeah, you yeah. cheated. Yeah. yeah. And then, and then Wes is like, you told me to improvise. Improvising falls within the spectrum <laughs> of cheating. <laughs> Sure. In my yeah. world, yeah, yeah. that I mean, where I come from, yeah, you know. But I don't. What do I know? I don't have a dad. Um, <laughs> <laughs> a dad who literally like cheated on cheated all the time to beat him in in whatever the fuck that was. That's called. true, Riker. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, no one has good fathers. No, 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 no. I mean, fucking Jordy's dad took his eyes. Um, <laughs> I mean, in, in my in my <laughs> canon, in my canon, <laughs> he's like Jordy. Before I go, yeah. he pulls I out a melon eyes. scooper. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, a melon baller. A melon baller. <laughs> Sco- <laughs> scooped out his fucking his pupils, Scooped dude. out his fucking eyes. <laughs> um, this is to teach you a lesson about blindness. Yeah. So, Damn, Mister LaForge, <laughs> that's stone cold. <laughs> so, and it's funny because, like, he's like, "Oh, you told me to improvise. It's it's fine. It's cool. It falls. It's like not cheating if you're not looking." At the mm-hmm. the woman who's giving you oral. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's that's Wesley's god. <laughs> um, god damn it! This oh, is going no. off the rails, dude. And oh, and no. Jordy like he 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 runs an interference because he's like, oh, I, it's gonna it's gonna make a controlled reaction, blah blah. And it, it immediately like he says, hmm. He's like, oh, okay, okay, okay. And all then right, he looks right. he looks he looks at um at Wesley and he's like, hmm. Assuming you can regulate this reaction, <laughs> like he changes his tune really fast. Dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And regulate this what? He he's like two point one gigawatts. Um, <laughs> he's basically or something else. Yeah. And basically, he says like, "Oh, we can be, we can probably get it to warp one for like two seconds." Yeah, which is which is nothing in Star Trek world. That's no. Speed yeah, at but all. in our world, pff, dude, that's light speed. Yeah. yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. Times two. <laughs> and then the little squiggly lines carried over the threes. Um, you, by the way, this ship, the Anne Hathaway, mm-hmm. it looks pretty badass, dude. 
It's old. I like but the design. Looks, yeah. 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 It's good. It's got. I the, like that the, it looks like cookware. <laughs> yeah, it kind of looks like a waffle maker. It looks like a waffle maker kind of. Yeah, yeah, I mean, but like old, older cookware. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. It's not so slick and 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 smooth yeah. and round. Yeah, I mean, there's a reason why. Like, there's a very famous pizza cutter. It's just the Enterprise. That's a collector's. Exactly. Item. Yeah. Well, it's probably great for cutting pizzas. Yeah, it is. Or your crack. Um, <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> so Pulaski goes and tries to talk to, to Data and no, no nothing and. um and finally, they get the captain, and the captain goes in there, and he's like, Look, he basically goes, hey, don't be a fool. Don't be a bitch. Yeah. Get the, are you going to get the fuck in there or what, dude? Yeah. I'm going to have to drag you into the bridge. And he basically <laughs> fixes data like that just by talking down to him, dude. Well, he does. This is a moment where he does say one of the most famous Picard lines, which is- um, Do you have you the clip? Can, I, have, I do have the clip. Yeah, yeah. It is possible to commit no mistakes and still lose. That is not a weakness. That is life. Yeah, it's like a very famous Picard line yeah. where everyone everyone quotes that a lot. They're like, oh, cool. He said a, a cool thing to make yeah. Data feel better. <laughs> and he's all getting me my I mean, I do Earl like Grey the line. Tea. I like that line a lot. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. I love that line. Um, it, It's one of those things where it's like some... Li- I, I, I harp on Melinda Snodgrass a lot, but she did rewrite this script. So I wonder if she, oh my she brought God, that dude. in. So. <laughs> Melinda Snodgrass is your harp lady, dude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh dude you got me uh, good old got harp it. and melinda <laughs> yeah <laughs> melinda um, harpness <laughs> uh and so what else happened okay so the, the no it's melinda harp lass <laughs> harp glass so anyway so they they finally have the 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 <laughs> They finally have the war game after all. After right. they finally get the ship going. Finally. Uh, shall we play a game? Yeah. <laughs> finally, dude. They get the ship going. And uh, so what? what's going to happen is they're going to turn off the... It, it's on safe mode, basically. Mm-hmm. Like There's no lasers going to come. They basically uh, gave the ship a vasectomy. There's no... There's no... <laughs> there's no you know, no one's going to get pregnant. It's mm. just, it's just yeah. blanks. Uh, and they're excited. Fucking Picard. I've never seen Picard this excited, dude. He's so yeah, excited. he's like, ooh, I don't usually fight, but this is exciting. Yeah, yeah. And so it, the, Picard starts with a weird maneuver, and then and then they do the whole the whole uh, ILM. We change the 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 the, 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 the yeah. holographs on the yeah. <laughs> so it, super it, cheating. I know, dude. I know. <laughs> um, so to them, it looks like it's um. What is it? it to them, it looks like it's a. Bird of Prey, or what is it called? Yeah, what like a Klingon show? Bird of Prey Klingon, showed yeah, up out of yeah. nowhere. And they're like, oh, shit, we yeah. got to gotta watch oh, out. That was, yeah. That's a, yeah. And then and then they come around the back and they poke in the butt with lasers. Pew, 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 pew. pew. Mm-hmm. And they're like, oh, no, fuck, he tricked us, this bitch. And 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 <laughs> and you can tell Picard's like kind of like like pissed off, but deep down he's like, yeah, dude. Those are my guys, dude. Because he smiles. Because <laughs> when he sits down, he like he's adjusting his his like his fucking. That's a Picard maneuver. Is yeah, and he's like, oh yeah, fuck, and he's like pissed. But then the next shot is like a side shot, and he's like, like smiling. He like he's like, oh, I knew Riker was gonna do some crazy shit, dude. <laughs> yeah. Good old Riker. Yeah, good old the old the old crackhead maneuver. <laughs> Well, you put crack into the ship. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, sir, he's he's coming around back and sprinkling crack into our engines. <laughs> <Yeah>. oh. <laughs> oh shit, dude. Um, and then and then they're getting ready to do the other move, and then all of a sudden, Dan Hathaway. They think it's another trick, and the goddamn fucking what are these dudes called? With the big ears? Ferengi. Ferengi. The Fre- like there's a Ferengi ship approaching, and they think it's fake, and then Worf's like, "Oh, that's not fake. That's that's fucking real, dude." <laughs> <laughs> And so the Ferengi saw basically the Ferengi are such assholes, dude. Yeah, the Ferengi basically saw that so petty that the Federation ship was shooting on another Federation ship, and they're like, "Well, what's wrong? Why are you shooting at that ship?" And they're like, "There must be something of value in that ship." And they're like, "No, it's just you know, just just get out of here, you fucking Damon. Get out of here. They don't even want. They don't even want to talk to them. Yeah, we don't even want to talk to you, dude. We're doing our own shit. Why are you shooting at us, dude?" (laughs) And he's like, "Well." I don't know why the fuck they would shoot. They, why would the fuck would the Frangi fuck with a Federation ship? First of all, they're just really greedy. So like they just see the opportunity and be like, "Ooh, money!" Yeah, we could sell the ship. Or like, gold. I mean, yeah, we could we actually it. still yeah. care about gold. Yeah. They're like, they're like, you know the street value of that crack. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they want to get their hands on that crack. This dude. is a mule ship, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> 
you've keistered all that crack in there. Yeah. That's um, why it looks like there's nothing in it, but all the compartments are filled with crack. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so that's why all the wires were out. Yeah. <laughs> because I was hiding all that crack. Um, mm. So anyway, they're like, well, this is what's going to happen. He's like, cause, cause the Ferengi really do some work on this fucking ship. Cause they lowered the, their shield. Yeah. They really uh, fucked it up. Yeah. yeah. And so they say, Hey, we're going to give you five minutes to give up the ship or we'll blow everybody up and we'll take whatever we want. Mm-hmm. And uh, this is, I hate this part of it. And, and the Palpatine's like, okay, let's get the fuck out of here. Let's just get out of here. Let's save ourselves. He starts freaking out. He's like, yeah. we gotta go. We're going to die. It's, yeah. it's, 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 only, it's only 40 people. It's not it's yeah. fine. Yeah. He's like, it's fine. It's so it's a total acceptable loss. He's like one, two. I know a guy, and he'll get us out of this. <laughs> He's like, I know a cleaner. Yeah, he, he, he'll make it seem like it doesn't happen. He's like, <laughs> and deep down, I think the the Palpatine's like, look, we we beam them on board the the Anne the, the Hathaway. We'll just bring them back in safe mode. Nobody's yeah. a wiser. They're, they're no no one's gonna, no one's gonna die. Picard. I was wondering on. why nobody made an attempt to beam them all back. Why wasn't that part of the plan? I think they kind of mentioned something like because they were locked or some. Bull- they oh, right. Bullshit. The transporters went down. Yeah. Everything yeah. conveniently went down. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we can't switch back to our phasers. They're fused shut or something. Yeah. The transporters. Yeah, it was like, we are so far into this uh, war game like simulation yeah. that we can't use our ship like it's supposed to be yeah, used. Yeah. We have to, yep. we have to do no a full override. Reboot. Yeah. Yeah. We can't, <laughs> we can't stop the exercise yeah. in the middle when a real threat happens yeah. to yeah. come by. Yep. And he, they're like, as fucking Jason Statham is 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 taking a shit, and he's not manning the transporters, so he can't. He's like, beam oh, them up. I got a wipe before he's I can like, go back. I can't like, go oh, back with with oh, brown fuck pants. You, <laughs> <laughs> I need to take a shit. Uh, so, <laughs> so fucking Palpatine's like, look, let's just forget about these people. Let's get the fuck out of here, dude. And the Ferengis are like, yeah, we're gonna fucking shoot everybody because we want the copper wiring on the ship. <laughs> They don't know that the wire. That'd be, gra- that'd be great if they're like, we're trying to strip all the copper <laughs> out of the ship. <laughs> they, they should just give the ship. ship. They should just give the ship and go, yeah, it's already been stripped. Do you know much. how much copper used to be on the ships <laughs> in the wiring? Like, so, just don't uh, touch your crack and we're good. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, you know what's so funny is that they have time to go. They're like, first of all, Picard's like, we're not fucking leaving these people. And 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 Palpatine's pissed, dude. He's like, Ugh, yeah, I'll be noting this. Um, <laughs> yeah. like, Shut up, dude. Get a facelift and get the fuck out of here, you piece of shit. What's um, wrong with your face? Yeah. 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 Um, and and Picard, they give him like five minutes. Yeah. Earth minute or like human minutes, I guess. Yeah, they're like, We'll give you ten of your minutes. Yeah. <laughs> and, 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 <laughs> our minutes are better. Picard should Picard should have been like Canadian or American. And then and then like really kind of stretch them out, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Surprise <He's> like, <laughs> me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> So, European minutes they last longer. <laughs> so they have five minutes and they waste fucking time to go going into to the, the con- to conference room, dude, and and discussing it. And it's like, <laughs> what it's for? true. They have a set what change. For? Yeah. <laughs> and and they're like they're like let's take, talk this over. Uh, Riker, can you hear us? And then and then Riker's like, ah, oh, my FaceTime is kind of off. Let me let me let me let me reboot my phone. Yeah, we it's have voice two minutes. Yeah. yeah. God damn it. Um, Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Riker, are you here with us? Can you hear us? And he's like, oh fuck, let him reboot his phone. Uh, he just texted me. He said he's rebooting his phone. Um, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll wait. We'll wait. <laughs> yeah, we'll wait, we'll wait. Let's wait. Let's let's sit here awkwardly while we wait for somebody to zoom in. Um, so anyway, how's how's your week going? I hate that, dude. I hate that. Uh, I have a, I, I have this confession. I intentionally go to Zoom meetings late. Me too. Just so I don't have to do it. Yeah, man. I secretly no one hope- wants to be that awkward, like set of people just sitting around doing. Oh fuck shit, all. dude. Okay, I'm gonna con- I'm gonna say a story. I'm gonna confess a story, dude. All right. Okay. okay. Um, all right. In my previous job. We I had a lot of meetings, right? And I had mm-hmm. a lot of meetings. They would put me in weird meetings with like people way above my pay grade. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I had a meeting with one of the producers whose dad had just died. Oh, no. oh man! And his, his dad, sorry, his dad has died like a year ago, and his mom was sick, and he had to put her in a nursing home. Mm-hmm. And he was talking to another person, and I joined the meeting like three minutes late. Mm-hmm. But everyone else who was supposed to be in the meeting was also running really late. Mm-hmm. So I was the third wheel 
and mm. they were talking. So like one of the person people there were was talking about like, oh, it was like kind of like being sympathetic. And he was like, oh yeah, well, my mom's been in and out of the hospital lately, blah, blah, blah. And then the with a producer whose mom was gonna be in a nursing home, he says, Oh, he's like, you know what? Like he's like, my kids have been getting me through this. And like he got he started getting really emotional and started crying. Oh, oh man. And I was like, I don't wanna be here. But it might they had seen my face already. <laughs> yeah. And I I couldn't just like duck out. Yeah, that's like, weird. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, I don't know what to do. So I kind of muted myself and I was like, and you do the thing where you kind of like, you're like, what is it? My son, <laughs> it's interesting. You look up, you look away. Oh, you no. don't, you don't make eye contact with the camera. Yeah, absolutely and, not. Yeah. And uh, thankfully, like a minute later, someone joined the Zoom and I was like, God damn, fuck, dude. That was the most yeah. awkward thing ever. <laughs> yeah. I tend to, if something like that happens, I tend to be like, I pretend I hear something. Yeah. And I turn like, oh, the camera and mic off. Like, oh. and then I- <laughs> yeah. No, you should have made like a dramatic clutching of your stomach. Go like, oh, oh. diarrhea. <laughs> oh, shit. You yeah. yell that out. Yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> like, as, diarrhea. Yeah. As loudly as you can. You have to make sure they know why. You're, you have you're to mouth it out. You have to yourself. mouth it out. You mute yourself, but you mouth it. You're like. <laughs> your face. <laughs> Yeah, like just cover all your bases, man. Yeah, yeah. just make sure they can uh, read your lips if they can't hear you, of course. And then you yeah. know, pardon God me, I it. have to take my crack cocaine. Like <laughs> yeah. <back. laughs> so back to this episode. So Palpatine's like, let's forget about them. Let's get the fuck out of here. But they go to the conference room to have a, mm-hmm. a three minute meeting that takes them a minute to get there and a minute to get back. <laughs> so we burn all five minutes. <laughs> Um, and basically come up with this. They're going to use, they're betting all the, their money on this goddamn Wesley experiment. Yeah. <laughs> to work, by the way. Yeah. Now, everything falls on Wesley in this episode. Mm-hmm. If Wesley fucked up with his crack cocaine, <laughs> the warp is, the warp drive is not going to work for those two seconds and mm-hmm. they're going to die because yeah. those missiles are going to hit them. So the yeah. idea is they warp out of there. The Enterprise shoots two missiles, so it looks like they blew them out of the sky, mm-hmm. and then the Ferengi will get scared and be like, oh, fuck, they, these guys got big balls, dude. They'll fucking shoot their own shit, dude. Yeah. And then they'll leave. Well, it, the idea is that, like, at, at, on top of that, the Ferengi will be like, I can't believe you destroyed your own ship, will be, which will be enough of a distraction for Worf to do one last thing. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, they do it, and it works, and they basically make it look like there's another bigger, like, battle ship coming to destroy them right yeah yeah and so the ferengi escape they're like oh let's get out of here dude this copper wiring is not worth it and they leave <laughs> <laughs> and then picard is like uh we did it dude we fucking <laughs> saved it i mean really it was a kid who did it who fixed who fixed this episode yeah yeah but whatever dude yeah Riker takes so, all the credit yeah yeah Riker's <laughs> like oh it was me it was me and then uh there's one more rematch with uh with Palpatine and Data and he basically just outplays him. He doesn't beat him per se, but he just th- th- what what ends up happening is that he the first time he played him he was playing to win as this time he was just playing to counter. He's just playing defense basically. Yeah. And the other one he's like, ah, "I wasn't playing defense. It was just all offense." Yeah, and yeah. this one he's like, oh, "I'm just I was playing defense to just block him." Yeah. It was it was, he, it was his point was to to tie, not to win. Yeah, and kind of like fatigue him. Like he's getting really tired. Yeah. Well, all <laughs> that kind of reminds me of my strategy for arm wrestling back in my group of friends in high school. Or you do the, th- like, the, the, the thumb well, over well, the, the th- thumb. Th- th- well, the thing was, they could never actually get me to touch my hand to you know to actually beat me. I mm. would always resist at the very last bit, and they would never f- be able to finish the job. And eventually, oh. they would give up, and it would be a tie. Yeah, it, it leaves an opening for you to punch yeah. in the throat. So that from your can, your yeah, the, from bam, the, main, the old fork in the eye. The old, yeah, the <laughs> O- your old fucking arm wrestling days. <laughs> yeah. Back when, <laughs> back when I, back when I was a somebody. <laughs> you had You're, seen over the top with Stallone. And you were yeah, like, I could have been a contender. Go yeah, <laughs> you you could have been a Debbie dad that left your kid <laughs> <laughs> to travel around arm wrestling. Uh, um, but anyway everyone's excited about data and they're like yeah hip hip hooray he's yeah. our champion um and but no one gives fucking the kid who made crack yeah the credit dude he deserves anyway it was a fun episode dude a lot of a lot of crazy things happening in this episode this would have been a good episode to to leave off on because there's some serious stuff but it's funny and yeah. like the, the character's over the top but he's quirky and funny yeah oh we 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 skimmed over uh data's best line 
maybe so far in the series. So let me play that really quick. Then you have beaten him. It is a matter of perspective, Doctor. In the strictest sense, I did not win. Data. I busted him up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's so weird and out of character. <laughs> But it's yeah. great, <laughs> and it's it's kind of weird because it's kind of a it's kind of a stretch to like hear him say that and and cheer like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's just it's just because it is a callback that that you know that you get that pop off, but it's yeah, it's yeah, weird yeah. in 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 context. Yeah, yeah, it's fun. I like it. You know what I, I like? I like how when they start talking, when Riker says like, "Hey, we have the ability to do like a two second like warp one jump." And then, mm-hmm. you know, Palpatine's like, impossible. It was, you know, your ship wasn't supposed to be able to do that. And Picard d- doesn't question shit. He's just like, he just is like, I told him he was, I told you it was the best. I don't <laughs> yeah. know what the fuck they yeah. did to cheat it, but I know that they cheated. You can do anything. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's like, look, I knew they took Wesley for a reason. And now I know. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> They've got, yeah. They got a ship full of crack, dude. <laughs> Wesley was a mule for antimatter. Yeah. Yeah. He, he, he smuggled He's antimatter up his butt. And yeah. <laughs> God damn Wesley. Dude. Uh, Wesley's a real piece of shit. Sometimes. Also shout but outs to. Uh, saves the day. Yeah. Shout out Sorry. to all the homies making crack. Hey. <laughs> yeah, man. Gotta hustle, dude. Yeah. Uh, you, you do you. You do you, dude. It's, it's, I, okay. <laughs> I was saying, gonna, I was just going to say shout outs to Palpatine's actor for like a truly like repulsive like breakdown in the yeah. final battle <laughs> yeah, like, yeah he's just like he, he is chewing on all the scenery and he's just yeah. like you know, <laughs> like he's just like sputtering and, and dying on like you know with these <laughs> vpns on his hands yeah it feels like whoever is sitting on the left loses yeah there you go <laughs> yeah dude because <laughs> it's they just always put him there but anyway anyway oh there was um more anime reference. It, it turns out there's a lot more anime references in Star Trek than I thought. So, like, th- the war game is mm-hmm. called Operation Lovely Angel, which is a reference to Dirty Pair because the two characters in that sh- uh, anime are called the Dirty, uh, are called Lovely Angels. And then right. also, uh, w- apparently, when Data is looking at stuff on his computer, you can briefly see something called K and Yuri submodule which are the names of the characters in that, that anime. Yeah, lots of dirty pair. Yeah. And even all the way back in, um, what was it called? Uh, a matter of honor. The, the one where um, uh, Riker had to go over to the Klingon ship. Mm-hmm. There was apparently more dirty pair references in there. It was apparently just randomly showing up on a screen when he's uh, looking up uh, things about the Klingons. They would just say that they would call it like, Something the, the names of the characters again, just randomly showing up again. So somebody, somebody's a really big anime fan, and I'm not going to sure. burn that on Okuda again. I don't know because the uh, but because because the, the Operation Lovely Angel is in a, on an Okuda gram, so I wonder if that is Michael Okuda. Um, mm-hmm. But apparently, the uh, Urusei Yatsura thing was not Michael Okuda, right? Because we confirmed it on Twitter. He said it was the other guy. Um, oh my god, I'm I'm mis- I'm not remembering his name. Tim Burton. Yeah, yeah him. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Tim Burton used to do set design for <laughs> <laughs> that, that piece of shit. Tim Burton. <laughs> yeah. Like he, when he wasn't directing Batman, yeah. <laughs> yeah. it was right in around between that time. Batman, yeah. In between Batman. In, in between takes of Batman. <laughs> <he was. laughs> Putting in anime references into Star Trek. Uh, busy man. Uh, yeah. Busy guy. Uh, I would give this episode an eight out of 10. I think, I think it's enjoyable. It's like kind of weird in some ways, but it's fine. You know, like the fact that like basically we're kind of cheering on a bunch of people cheating. Yeah. It's a little strange. Yeah. <laughs> it is, it is a little B, weird. And the B, the B plot's really stupid, but it's really entertaining. So <laughs> I, I I basically chalk it up to like an eight because I'm like, oh, I had a lot of fun. I don't have that many criticisms about it because it's like the show, the episode isn't trying to be airtight or anything. It's just trying to be like, here's a war game episode where it, this episode kind of made me long for my fantasy of where TNG turns into a series with two captains, with Riker captaining his own ship and Picard captaining his own ship. Oh, but, like I kind of wish that ever happens in TNG. Um, but you know, this 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 kind of had flashes of that, you know. But you know, that's just me. Yeah, I feel like there's room in the world for a show like that. Like I don't think that's ever been done 
where there are like two completely sets of like a sci-fi space crew and you just yeah, I mean, focus on one or the other like within the same series but sometimes they meet and things happen yeah I, I haven't watched too much of the new star trek on cbs all access but maybe they do something like that oh maybe mm. oh. what do you guys think i'll give it a 7.5 i would give it a seven but I give it an extra 0. 0.5 for the iconic Picard line. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. 7.5 for the crack references. <laughs> that I good mean. Man. Not not the show. <laughs> not I mean. If there were no crack references. <laughs> yeah, if I hadn't made any crack references, I'd be a 7. Okay. Mm, okay. Soft okay. 7. <laughs> soft 7. Very, very soft, um, which is not, that's not peak performance. <laughs> no, it is. <laughs> Again, another title that could be an adult movie. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That one's that one's just just vying for this title for a top title. Is this, uh, does a soft seven look like a candy cane? <laughs> candy cane. <laughs> oh boy. Otherwise, that it was, looks pretty sharp to me. <laughs> that was newbie Star Trek. Everybody, we just finished peak performance. And uh, yeah, if you guys have been enjoying the podcast, uh, it'd be great if you guys can head over to Apple Podcasts and give us a review there. That'd be really cool or podcast addict or wherever they do reviews. I don't know where they do reviews. I just know Apple podcasts is apparently one of them. So that would be great. And also uh, we don't have an email this week, but if you guys wanted to send us an email, uh, you could send us at contact at newbie star And uh, it could be a question or whatever. You just want to reach out. And then uh, if it's not really stupid, well, <laughs> read it out Dang, on the podcast putting so many people on blast already <laughs> yeah well there's some emails where i'm just like i just can't read that that's nothing so <laughs> um so bring yeah. one example <laughs> <laughs> one day. no no <laughs> so that's a that's a contact at newbie star trek.com so also we do a bunch of other stuff uh, we have the fugitive fames the fugitive frames film <laughs> podcast. Of an email that's like hello i'm a nigerian prince and i have many <laughs> problems with your podcast <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's there's no there's no scam he's just really angry yeah exactly <laughs> uh, he's i was like, going to donate money. millions of dollars to your <laughs> cause but now i don't know yeah 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 he's like now i'm gonna ask you to send me money <laughs> Yeah, so we also have the Fugitive Frames film podcast, and this is a spooky month, so Ricardo's got some spooky episodes lined up. So we're gonna, we're going to do also a commentary for a horror movie. Oh yeah, should we should we tell them? Let's just tell them. Yeah, it should be Drag Me to Hell because I have never seen it. Dan and Ricardo have, but they haven't Get seen wrecked, it in dude. a while. <laughs> I, I, I I think we might have already said Drag Me to Hell last week. Oh, did yeah. we? Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. here it is again. We're gonna do Drag Me to Hell eventually Yay. that'll come out this month and also we have uh fugitive games which is our youtube channel so if you want us to see us going through paper mario the origami king and we're going to be finishing off batman arkham origins at some point and also currently we're doing a lot of outer wilds streaming because the dlc came out echoes and, of the eye yeah um it's spooky dan's having a spooky spooky time yeah uh, apparently there is a option to reduce the frights in the game and yeah. according to those watching us uh we have yet to encounter the things that require that option or that yeah. uh, that that option affects yeah so but Dan, yeah. i've already been creeped out enough without getting there so I, I i yeah if you want me to if you want me to watch me sweat and freak out yeah come, come by yeah come by watch We're me explore <laughs> Common's uh, gonna be there. <laughs> oh, oh it'll be a really just, fun time with everyone. You just do oh. it as common, and then when you're scared, you go, "Whoa! <laughs> oh my <laughs> god, me. what the fuck? Oh Jesus! Raymond, quite the fright." <laughs> so all of those things you could find it at fugitiveframes.com. It's just one link that takes you to all those things that you can just poke around and figure out where you want to go to. But yeah, all right, next time. We're going to be watching a season finale of season two, Shades of Grey. Yay. Uh, 50 not Shades. To, <laughs> not to spoil it for Ricardo, but this could be the worst season finale in Star Trek history. Worse than 50 Shades of Grey? Yeah. It's, no. it's, stuck out in my, <laughs> it's stuck out in my mind. So we'll see. I'll be the judge of that. We'll see how this goes because it's going to be. Oh, it's, it's, it's going to be a good one. It's going to be an episode. It's going to be a good one. <laughs> Everyone's going to love it. 
Uh, but until then, see you guys next week. Stay safe, everybody, and goodbye. Bon jour. Also play no. Metroid Dread. Oh, that's true. <laughs> I don't know. Just, just came to mind, and I'm excited for that game. That's true. That's true. I'll Dread's stream that also eventually. Who's on yeah. Call of Duty? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>